Let's go. And we will say, oh. today a topic for discussions and for prayers will be feed my lamb feed my sheep and follow me feed my lambs feed my sheep and follow me our scripture reading is taken from the gospel according to st john's in chapter 21 and we'll be reading from the 15th verse this is the experience of jesus telling Peter what he expected of him. So let's go. So when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third, third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, When thou wast young, thou gathest thyself, and walkest whither thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another man shall guard thee, and carry thee whither thou wouldest not. This spake he, signifying by what death he should glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said unto him, Follow me. Then Peter turning about, seeth the disciple whom Jesus loved following, which also leaned on his breast at supper, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? Peter, seeing him, saith to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Jesus said unto him, If I will, that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Then went this saying abroad among the brethren, that that disciple should not die. Yet Jesus said not unto him, he shall not die. But if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? This is the disciple which testifieth of these things, and wrote these things, and we know that this testimony is true. And there are so many other things which Jesus did, the which, if they should be written, everyone, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. Feed my lambs, feed my sheep, and follow me. These were the things that Jesus said to Simon Peter. This was after Jesus had resurrected. This was after, in fact, Simon Peter had told the other disciples, let's go a fishing. And this perhaps was one of the reasons 
why Jesus needed to underscore that he should continue to be fisher of men and he should make sure that the other disciples with me with him that had always been fishermen should also continue to be fishers of men and not going for the fish that they had always been accustomed to catching and he also emphasized that they should feed the lambs the first time showcasing that there are those young christians that will need the milk of the gospel and so those ones should also be well fed until they become sheep until they become mature christians until they're able to chew the meat of the scriptures until they're able to even crush certain bones of the word of the lord feed my lambs that is what jesus told peter that is what i'm still telling you today from the scriptures whether you are a pastor or you are just a christian that truly is following christ and then he said we should follow him i need to remind you that today is bishop ajayi crowther's day being celebrated not that it is exactly today but it's been celebrated today because it was transferred to today but it's usually celebrated about this time and bishop ajayi crowther was the first african bishop he was one of those that fed the lambs of christ that fed the sheep of christ and that followed christ and i'm not surprised that the uh, scripture reading that we are picking today has to do with the experience of peter with jesus christ because bishop ajayi Krada was actually consecrated bishop in 1864 on saint peter's day so that may explain why we are discussing Peter and Jesus. And Jesus calling Peter to feed the lamb, to feed the sheep, and to follow him is a call not just to Simon Peter, but to all of us today. That all of us as Christians today, we should learn to also groom fresh Christians. There should be foundation of faith classes in every church. Is, is that taking place in your church? Are you taking heed to make sure that you have proper foundation of faith classes? Sometimes in certain congregations, we may call them bap baptismal classes, um, classes in um, other things, other names that they call it catechism and whatever. But you must feed the lambs. You must let young Christians gradually get into the meat of the gospel. You must also feed the sheep. In feeding the lamb, you should not feed the sheep. So as you have the young children's church, you should have the youth chapel, and then you should have the regular adult church. You should have an avenue of making sure that nobody is left out. And at the end of the day, all of us should follow Christ. That is what Jesus expects of you till tomorrow. That is what Peter eventually did. That is what Samuel Ajayi Crowder did. That is what other fathers of faith did. And if in the Anglican Church that I represent today, uh, being, I mean, yesterday, this week, on Sunday, we spoke about learning from the fathers of faith, then it's obvious to me that, again, part of those fathers of faith that we should learn from is Ajayi, Simon Ajayi Crowder, the bishop, just the same way we should learn from Peter and the same way we continue to learn from Jesus. So, brethren, you must learn to feed the lambs of Christ. You must learn to feed the sheep of Christ. You must learn to follow Christ because the best that you can do is to follow Jesus and let others follow you even as you follow Christ. That is what Paul himself said. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. We suggest to you that if you get off that track of following Christ, groom the lambs, groom the sheep to the extent that they would continue to follow Christ. But I pray for you that even you, yourself, you are not going to veer off that path. You continue to follow Christ all the days of your life. That's what I pray for myself too. And I pray that that prayer will come to pass in all of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. So if we are to feed the lambs of Christ, we are to feed the sheep of Christ, and we are to follow him, then perhaps 
what I should do now is to go searching for the next set of lambs that would eventually grow up to become the sheep. And that is to ask that those who are not yet born again to give their lives to Christ. So are you part of this fellowship right now with me? You've been watching, you've been listening to your life boy today for quite some time. Are you sure that you are actually born again? Are you sure that if you are called home today, you will make it to heaven? Well, if you are not yet sure, and you really want to be sure, then I send out this invitation to you right now. Give your life to Christ. Be part of the Lambs of Christ. Say this prayer after me. And that's all you need to do for a beginning. And then gradually, you will take your journey on from being a lamb to being a sheep and then to being one of those that are leaders in following Christ. Say this prayer after me now. Say, Lord, I come to you today. I've been taught that lambs, sheep, are to be fed and to follow Christ because those are the figurative representations of those that are called by the name of Christ. I also want to be called by the name of Christ. I want to come to be one of your lambs today. Therefore, I come to you, Lord Jesus. I say, have mercy upon me. Rewrite my story. Forgive my sinful past. Let me make it to your kingdom that I may begin to learn to feed as a sheep from today and that I may follow you all the days of my life. I pray in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, welcome into the kingdom, the kingdom of the lambs and the sheep and all those that follow Christ. And all of us together now can say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, give me the grace to feed your lamb, the grace to feed your sheep, the grace to follow you. Strengthen my love for you, Lord, that I may always follow you all the days of my life, and it may be well with me. Thank you, Father, as you do this for me today, I pray in Jesus' name. So go out today, remember Bishop Ajayi Crowder, whom we celebrate today. See how you can follow his footsteps, follow Christ, and perhaps get to become a bishop too. God bless you. I judge you faithful, I call you faithful.